Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, let's try something different. We're going to try SketchUp. Okay. So we're going to model, not model this building, but uh, just uh, um, I'll just demonstrate some uh, how to use SketchUp to roughly uh, model something like like this. Okay. So let's start. I'll I have a very old version sketch up, so let's uh, start. Okay, so this is it, sketch up. Okay, and we're going to uh, model this one. So, okay, so first let me show you some tool I'm going to use, uh, and also I use shortcut. Okay, so first, rectangle, R, rectangle. So this is very uh, you, usually you start from a rectangle and also double click to select the whole thing and also the next one pay pull okay pull up now that's a building <laughs> okay so let's have a look and see this uh, it's not rectangular it's a looks like um, offset um, so we can select that and scale it use s scale so you can see you can scale it and then just make it uh, interesting okay so the next one is so uh, we can you can also do this so you can select one edge and use move m you can move okay so you can select and also another shortcut space bar is unselect thing so so for example select like that one and, uh, select that edge uh, you start with uh, start uh, a, a command m and if you sp space you will uh, cancel that command okay so let's move this move this okay so the next one is um okay so we can uh, try to create this part so first we can move this surface up so i'll just do it you know move it up a little bit and then we can pull put it down okay put it down to roughly floor level and then once again pull this in pull this in so yeah so that's 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 that roughly there um and what's next next one is so we create we try to create the those void um, what you can do is you can draw lines to to separate. So this is a one one face, right? If you draw a line between them, you can separate them. So and then, so you can, um, for example, uh, let me just have a look. Uh, still one surface, but that one push in. Um, not sure how. <laughs> maybe uh maybe i'll just draw that line to here and delete this one and draw a oh, line is l okay line l straight line and delete is delete <laughs> okay so you can also use e eraser but uh, uh the same you can use select and delete if you use e you need to do this okay so now I draw this line and also when when you move you can see that blue line is y, uh, uh, x y z z uh, i think it's z so see this red uh, green blue so you can and use your shift to lock okay so lock so for example i want to lock onto this so okay so i'm going to move see the blue line lock press shift and pick any any of the points on this surface it will draw a line and so i'm going to maybe just roughly draw a line here so and uh, let me just draw this line connect this i'm going to just uh, delete this line so i can see inside um not mm, not very sure about this shape but maybe well, let's just have a try so just draw this connect this and draw roughly to press that shift and to this come down to here um, maybe connect this and maybe uh, connect this to this and I'll delete this surface and delete this um, 
it's not right <laughs> and yeah it's just yeah once you draw you draw all these lines and the uh, sketchup will automatically create a surface for you sometimes you don't need them but uh sketchup will create them so i'll just draw this to uh sorry it should be i want the green yeah green go to the back um um <laughs> then what's the next uh, maybe draw this line down to this level yeah uh, maybe maybe need to go here so sorry <laughs> Go up here, connect this, I'll delete this, delete this, draw this line, connect to uh yeah, to there. So I'll and yeah, it's a little bit just yeah. Just have a try. So so see if if these two faces they are not in one plane, when you delete the line between them, you will break the uh, you will break it so what you can do is you can just draw it uh, once I do it again and then you will see this is why so this is not um, yeah so maybe you, I'll move this line to this edge and then yeah so and then this should work so this is one surface right and Let's have a look again. So yeah, it's a little bit tricky in this shape, but I'll just roughly draw it um, to oh, wrong one. Yeah, I think that's that's because of this. Maybe I'll just draw along here and um, connect this one to there. Connect this to there, and I'll delete all these. Delete this and. Yeah, I think maybe draw, connect this one to here. Uh, still not right. Uh, this is too hard. Delete this, delete this, delete this. Yeah, I think that's better. <laughs> and yeah, maybe connect this one to here. And then, so this can pull. So use P to pull inside. Okay. And then we can somehow just get rid of this bit um, by just draw the line inside this geometry. So we can just do a line down to here. And sometimes when you can't, you want to see them, you can change the um, style or something. I haven't. Last time I used SketchUp is maybe ten or twenty years ago. <laughs> Anyway, so let's just try hide it. Okay, so and then we can just draw this line, connect with this, so we can delete this. And oh, can't see. Maybe I'll draw a line here, and then we delete this, delete this. Yeah. Probably not this because this there's no thickness here. So if I create a thickness here, and then we can delete that. So if I create a thickness, we can delete this line. So once again, we can just you know uh, pull this and pull this to this side. Yeah, something like this. And now we can't delete this line, but we can delete this line. So yeah, so basically this is how SketchUp work. Um, and also you can so you can see that um, reverse face so it become all white. Um, yeah. And there's a gap there. So let's just ignore that. <laughs> oh, so it looks like we probably want to see this face as as um, white. Okay, so yeah, and let's have a look again. So yeah, once again, so start always um, usually start from a R, and then you can start to manipulate the shape okay so something like this and if you want to draw for example draw the stairs here so it's quite uh, simple as well um, so so for example you can draw a, a shape and also you can type in size so for example I wanted to draw it 300 and um, 300 uh, seven one uh, one seventy. Okay, so this is three hundred one seventy, and you can just draw extrusion 
and you can also uh, so for example you can oops sorry too fast you can group it uh, make a group and you can move M to press uh, control to copy and then you can type in 12 for example I want to copy 12 times so just 12 times and that's um yeah so looks like this right um, what's next um, yeah I think basically that's it so start a simple uh, simple um, shape first and then start to uh, use move use uh, use move oh, and another tool is offset uh, I think it's F yeah so you can pull in the you know something like that and then you can draw, always draw shape on top of shape and then pull you know create a void um, yeah so this is SketchUp and also um, I so cop uh, array I'll show you array so just uh, yeah we just did we did uh, but there's also so use move start with M so control to copy okay once you finish copy you can type so uh, t 10 times so we'll array and also you can do the other way around uh, so uh, M again control so to the end so 10 divide so that's another way to do it so and also um, um, you can do yeah actually you can do a lot of things in SketchUp so for example you can sweep so you can draw curved or uh, curved line oops sorry wrong one not this one this one uh, maybe this one. Oh no no that's not this one what's this one? Oh, arc <laughs> okay um, yeah and then you can draw you know a shape just like uh, uh, in Revit you um, trying to create a but how can we do it uh, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, that's it. And then you can just select this surface and use this one to to uh, uh, how to do it. Uh, yeah. Oh, control Z. Yeah, sweep. Okay. So you can you can also do it in three dimensional. Uh, um, yeah. Have a try. So that's it. I think this one. Um, if you use Revit. Uh, if I am going to use Revit to model this one, I will probably use very similar um, technique in Revit. In math, we try to draw a point and create lines and then create. So basically, it's exactly. So if I do line, so imagine you have a point and then you draw another point and another point and connect all these and then create a surface. Right, and then in Revit, um, you can also you know have another point here, another point here, so something like that. So and then, and then I'll just show you. So this is roughly the the met the method in you know, for example this, and then you can use these two and to create a, create a, create a, a form in Revit right but in SketchUp you can just simply I uh, just connect them and it will auto uh, SketchUp will automatically create all these surface for you um, but I'm not sure how to create this um, don't know how, how can how to create this curved surface in SketchUp um, maybe maybe we can try this no doesn't work <laughs> uh, no no anyway I don't know so this is it uh, something different uh, for today so just uh, have a play with uh, SketchUp and this one okay 
it's 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 possible to model it in red, but uh, it will be very very um, not. Um, it's it will be very hard to make it very this this look this nice. It's it will be yeah because curve and then you, you know trying to create a void and the and uh, sharp all those you know sharp edge um, it will be hard. So I recommend uh, no don't use rabbit. Uh, you can probably model these uh, in uh, um, maybe Rhino or some similar software and then you can import into because th those facade you can always have uh, just uh, as a you know import and then just uh, as a skin and and then you can build your rabbit model inside those skins for better you know uh, floor plans for uh, yeah internal but for the exterior or especially this part or the void or the curve or this um, yeah it will be very hard to model it in rabbit Okay, so this is it. Um, we talked about the SketchUp and also possibly Rhino and and um, let's have a look uh, next. So yeah, not this one again. Um, not this. So maybe next time we can try this one. Looks very hard. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.